Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of multiplying decimals. This is standard 5.3e in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 1 of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got a pretty straightforward problem for number one here. We have 681 books. Each book had a sale price here of 50 cents, and so we need the total amount of money collected from the sale of these books. Well, if we wanted to spend a lot of time, we could draw a strip diagram here, part, part, whole. Actually, it would be a part, 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 621 times, right? So if that's a book, that's 50 cents, that's a book, and that's 50 cents. And we're going to need to do that total of 621 times. So we probably don't want to draw that visually. We could obviously use repeated addition, 681 uh, sets of 50 cents being added together. But that's where it doesn't make much sense. So what we need to do here is probably set, all right, we need 600 and 81 sets of 50 cents, right? That's the sale price. We've got 681 books. They're each 51, 50 cents each. So hopefully we're saying, all right, that's a multiplication problem. When we see that repeated addition, we can best solve this with multiplication. So how do we solve this for multiplication? Well, we need to set it up like this. I am going to do something a little bit different here. You see my number right here. I do need the zero that's trailing. I don't necessarily need the zero on the front side. Uh, so you could drop that zero. You could, if you wanted to, just do 0.50. But let's just go ahead and do the whole thing, right? So this is going to end up being a 3 by 3, which, you know, is a little bit beyond what we learn in third grade. Really, we just look at a 3 by 2. Uh, in in fourth grade and fifth grade, really, we don't really get to that that third digit on that third row but let's just take a look to see what would happen there right so this first row is going to be easy zeros right now the second row we start with a zero because we're starting in the tens place so we need to start in the tens place and i'm going to do five times one is five five times eight is 40 and then five times six is 30 at the four is 34. Now, the reason why I say we don't really need this zero in the front, because look what's going to happen. In the third row, this is what we do. We start with two zeros. Since we're starting in the hundreds place, I need to start in the hundreds place, right? But it's just zero times 681. It's just zero, zero, zero. So that's why zeros on the front side are basically useless. I really didn't need this zero behind the decimal. Uh, it, it just helped me kind of keep my place to make sure that this five is in the tenths place right there. So we add this up here, and really, we, we're just going to get this 3, 4, 0, 5, and then a 0. I'm not really adding much up. Now, take a look at 3, 4, 0, 5, right? I see that, you know, here, I see that here, and then I see almost, the, except for the 4 missing right here and here. So here's what we need to keep in mind, okay? When we are multiplying decimals, you don't necessarily line up the decimals like you would addition or subtraction. You look at how many digits are behind the decimal and the factors. I've got nothing up in this first one, right? It's the decimals right there, but I got two digits behind the decimal in the factor, the second factor. So I need two digits behind the decimal in my product. So it's going to be 340.5. Now, let's see if that makes sense. This is 50 cents is, it's half a dollar, right? So really what I did is I took my 681, right, and I multiplied it by a half, or 681, and I divided it by 2. So 681, that's going to be 3, and that's going to be 4, and that's uh, going to be 0, and then 0.5, right, because I needed that 10. And yeah, 340 and 50 works. So my answer here is going to be B.